Hey everybody, gonna do a very quick comic book review today. I went into my local comic book shop to pick up Batman number 6 and saw this um, sitting on the shelf. Now I'm a massive, massive Army of Darkness Evil Dead trilogy fan and I've read quite a few of the Army of Darkness comic books that led on from the movies and I was aware they were starting a brand new series um, but I wasn't aware of what time it was coming out so I was really, really surprised to see this on the shelf and really happy I saw it. Um, basically this is the start of a new series so if you like the Evil Dead movies but have never read one of the comics this is your jumping on point. Now if you haven't seen Evil Dead trilogy um, I do highly recommend it. This is some of my favorite movies of all time but um, if you haven't seen the Evil Dead trilogy this comic is not for you. Um, um, it does follow its kind of crazy Army of Darkness kind of sense of style um, and I think new readers would just get lost and messed up in it all. First I'm going to flick to the back page um, to show the covers. Um, you can see here we have the main cover is right here. The cover I have is a 1 in 10. Um, you can see there so if you find this cover um, it's probably the rarer cover so try and pick that up and we have a Comics Pro exclusive cover and I don't have any Comics Pros in my local area so can't get that cover but basically the basic premise of this first issue is to introduce our new heroine um, Ashley I like how they call her Ashley they, they do refer to her as Ash but I like how they differentiate between the two characters because the basic premise of this issue I don't want to spoil anything is that we have Ashley, who is from an alternate dimension to Ash, and from her dimension, she's the chosen one. And like I say, I don't want to spoil anything, but the ending and the events of this issue lead to our two Ashes meeting. Um, she also kind of has this quirky new character, this little alien guy down here, who is kind of a dead eyed alien. Um, it should be interesting if they do anything new with him. So overall, I'm probably going to give this comic maybe a 3 out of 5. Um, it's definitely enough for me to want to pick up the next issue. Um, but there's, there's, there's truly nothing special. And if you're looking to get into the Army of Darkness comics and the, you know, the comics that came before this one, there is a massive 18 issue Army of Darkness omnibus, which I strongly suggest. Um, which collects the first 18 issues of the original Army of Darkness series before um, this comic, which is Army of Darkness number one, volume three. Um, so, like I say, if you never, if you like the Evil Dead movies, this is a great jumping on point. There's nothing amazing about the comic, but I really, really can't wait for issue two. Want to see what's going on in this world and how this story is going to play out. So, I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Um, you know, comment if you think there's something wrong with it, or maybe if you have any questions, comment. Maybe if you've read this issue or are planning on picking it up, comment, say what you thought of it, or maybe tell me, you know, your reasons for wanting to pick it up, if you love the films like I do. And I hope you get a chance to check out my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.